Happy Easter everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful day here and I am out driving the Terex in this cloudy overcast weather. Although it is quite warm, I think it's like eight degrees and I'm very happy to be outside and that it's not raining because we've had rain three days non-stop. So this is perfect for an Easter Sunday. Yeah, pretty quiet. get into the video that is regarding a classic motorbike of ours so now I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm going to let you guys see for yourselves what this awesome thing I'm going to show you is now what you guys can see here is a 1971 caddy moped which is in great condition for its year of 1971 and the fact that it is now 48 years old and it is looking really, really good. Although we do have a few rust particles starting on it for its age, it still rides like it was brand new, according to my grandfather who passed it down to me. Now it is a classic, as you can tell, because now in 2019, you do still see electric lights, but in fact, this is actually gas powered. So this does take the oil two stroke, with uh, some premium 91 or 93 octane gasoline. It does have a maximum speed of 50 kilometers an hour. And in order to get it going, you will see these pedals, but you do have to pedal and pull the choke in at the same time. And that is how you can start the engine. And then once the engine is started, you never have to use these pedals again until you run out of gas. Or if you just get stuck, then you have to flip it around too. There's a little dial over here. Just flip it around and then you can pedal it. But it is a very heavy bike to pedal, so I would recommend not doing that. And now, as you guys can probably see, the seat is actually very comfortable. Riding this bike is like riding a bike that you've never been on ever before. Because it, the experience of it is just like nothing else. It's like just a Sunday cruise. You're just out there. You got the throttle going. You got it all the way and it just it really has some power to it so it's fun and yeah it picks up its speed pretty quick now here we do have a basket this is just a add-on because canadian tire did not sell it like this years ago when it was brand new we do have some chrome sections on it including around the wheel wells and we also do have a used to be chrome now it's like a silver look exhaust pipe a uh, tiny little exhaust here. Uh, I can't even stick my pinky in it. So yeah, it's definitely a very small one. And it has a very, very small engine to it. I think it's below 50 cc engine displacement. So that is pretty good. And the only real things that you have to look at when starting it is your fuel shutoff valve. Just make sure that that's on, but always shut it off when you are done. Now moving along here, we do have the Caddy logo. And we can also see exclusive. So that means that there were not many of these made. And even if there were, this is probably one of the only few that is still on the road in 2019, which is 48 years later. Now moving along to the handlebars here and the front, we do have a light, which does not work. And it does have a switch, but I just need to get a new bulb for it. And we do have more chrome down here. Uh, the rest of the bike is yellow, chrome handlebars. Um, and the cool part about this is here we do have our choke. So just pull it all the way in and start pedaling to start it. And this here is your horn. 
uh, and the horn only works when the bike is running. Here is your kill switch, so just pull up on that to kill it. And here is your throttle, same as any motorbike. And no, this here is not a manual transmission because we do have the pedals and there would be nowhere for a clutch to be placed on this. But overall, it is definitely a fun ride and it is unlike any other motorbike experience that you will ever have and even e-bike. This here outbeats an e-bike crazily. It is absolutely incredible. And we are going to be doing a POV drive of this so that you guys can actually see how it drives, how, how to start it, and all that other kind of cool stuff. And now let's move around to the back of the vehicle. Or it's not even a vehicle. Across to the back of the motorbike. Surprisingly, 48 years later, this light still works. And what happens is as you give it more throttle, the light will go brighter. But when it just is idling, you can see it blinking almost like a really fast blinker, which is kind of weird. But I can't complain because it is 48 years old. Now moving along to the performance part of the bike, we do have two chains which power the motor and also the pedals. So this one here powers the pedals. So as you start pedaling, this chain will move. And then as you get going with the motor, this other chain here will move. And it does fall off a few times, but I did get it fixed. Uh, just with the use of a wrench loose in this side because it actually made the tire rub against the back here and then the vehicle would not move at all. So it was a very quick fix. So now let's take it for a spin. So that is going to be our wrap for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy it. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to subscribe, like, and also comment on this video. And you can also feel free to comment on future videos that you would like to see on the channel. And I will be sure to make that happen. Also check out our new website, link is in description. And also check out the Instagram account that I have at Life on Autos. Link for that is in description as well. Uh, follow us for new updates that you won't see on YouTube, some sneak peeks of uploads to come, and just some pictures of channel updates and that kind of cool stuff. So stay tuned on that as well. And you can also feel free to direct message me, contact me by DM um, on Instagram. So be sure to do that if you have any questions or concerns or any suggestions, anything really. But I hope that you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, you guys know what to do. Subscribe, like, comment once again. And I will see you guys in the next upload. Peace.